Queen here with an episode of Queen Reacts, and today we are getting to uh, Sawtooth Waves. What's this one called? I actually forgot to log in my computer. Uh, Reforming Cozy Glow. Now, he came out with this not too long ago, I don't think. Uh, let's just check. I just walked into my room and started recording, so sorry, I forgot to set up the computer, but. Yeah, he came out with this video maybe about a week ago or so. Uh, you know, that information's not really important. So, um, yeah, Reforming Cozy Glow. I saw the thumbnail and I was very interested because, uh, like, first off, that artwork, for some reason, that struck a chord with me. Uh, what, if you don't know, it had, uh, Cozy Glow and, what's her name? Flurry Heart. Uh, like, Grown Up Flurry Heart, Grown Up Cozy Glow. So. Not really sure what that was gonna uh, entail, but if they, I'm assuming that there's gonna be some sort of connection between the between those two that he's gonna talk about. Um, not really sure what kind of connection that would be. Uh, like perhaps maybe Flurry Heart is an, is like well he did he has mentioned that uh, uh, she's supposed to be another element of. Uh, love or an element of friendship because like you have uh, like he he if you don't remember uh, he had a video a long time ago that was like it's not the it's not the princesses it's not the princesses of friendship it's the princesses of love but different kinds of love uh, but um yeah because they so that's why I say that but uh, instead he kind of revised it to uh, different kinds of relationships so because he had very hard listed as the princess of like the relationship between the daughter to the mother um, with Cadence. Um, I'm not really sure what that could entail with uh, Cozy Glow here, Little Miss Demon, but whatever the case, we're gonna figure it out uh, together. <laughs> and three, two, one. Cozy Glow is the most devious yet adorable villain we faced. Not Makes just devious. How she was raised to end up so. <laughs> Diabolical. As far yeah, as we need it. Goes, she'll be we never got. Crack. But we never got a past the key uh, backstory for her. Revolves around her cutie mark. Right. A rook. Last time I talked about how Chrysalis could be reformed if she was released from stone. If you haven't seen it yet, definitely check it out. So next is gonna be T Rex. Today I bet. we're focusing on the only pony of the three villains. The reason her being a pony is significant is because she has a cutie mark, which gives us a look into her destiny. So grab a snack, get cozy, and let's go old school with some cutie mark analysis. Bad. The Rook in chess is the piece that can move vertically and horizontally. It's considered a big player since its mobility makes it easily capable of checkmate. Same is true of the Queen, appropriately, which is why they're known <laughs> as the major pieces. Oh, oh. They carry the most weight and can force other pieces Ooh. to move or suffer the consequences. I did not just, I just got the that. Holy oh, shit. Rookie, that is pretty cool. Is exactly how Cody operates. Chess symbolism is often used cynically, comparing one's thoughts and actions to that of a chess player, cold and calculated. Yeah, that definitely fits Cozy to a T. Yeah, okay. She views definitely. others not as individuals, but as pieces in her game. Look at those voodoo dolls. Controllable. She's manipulative and power hungry, and chess is all about power gained through manipulation. Her cutie mark makes perfect sense, right? Psychological well, manipulation. Something about this doesn't sit right with me. A cutie mark is a symbol of one's purpose, and I just can't believe Cozy Glow was destined to manipulate. Think about it, we've never seen a malicious cutie mark. They've always been a force for good. Mm. Even in cases where a pony didn't understand their mark, they always found a positive spin on it. What about There's that grumpy cat one cutie mark? I well. call it that. I would say call in the CMC, but this cutie mark problem is beyond them. Maybe it just means you lack playing chess? Believe me, I've been there. No, what right. we need is someone who's been in Cozy Glow's shoes. Someone who knows how to make it. Blue. Who wants to play just the like tea. her, but came to realize friendship is far more valuable. That person is Diamond Tiara. I think oh. Diamond Tiara is the key to reforming the Really? Glow. I've talked about her in the past. I figured That's she wasn't happy with her different from the thumbnail. As a symbol of her wealth and brattiness. Afraid that her destiny was officially tied to being spoiled instead of to who she is. Turns out it was spot on. She didn't understand the full meaning of her cutie mark until the Crusaders reached out to her. They helped her realize she wasn't meant to rule. 
but to lead. The crown represents not a position she was born into, but a talent she learned, how to inspire. She already knew she could influence people, but the Crusaders taught her to see the positive side of it. Something very similar is going on with Cozy Glow. Say what you like, but she sure knows what right. drives people, how to work a crowd. Yeah, and so did Hitler. Her use that for evil, manipulation. But just Which like I have made many Tiara, comparisons to, to the season coin. 8 finale Motivation. to Hitler's Chess Germany. Chess is a very complex game interconnecting pieces, working together in different ways. It takes real talent to process and determine the best moves. The same is true when you're in charge of a group of people and how they all interact. You just you looked at math and put that towards in there, a common did goal. You? Cozy Glow would be fantastic at this, whether as a principal, a supervisor, or anything of the sort. Okay, you'd have to be crazy to put her in any position of authority now, but the potential was always there. Yeah. And still is, if she can be trained to see others she as desirable rather than controllable. Easier said like, than done? Yes. Wolverine's but Starlight wife, went through a very girl, similar girl, process, whatever. going from manipulative <laughs> controller to trustworthy counselor. And in Cozy's case, the seeds have already been planted. On Mount Everhoof, after working together Everhoof. with the villains, Cozy Glow so said when we helped each other, it felt better somehow. She even suggested using her power to help others. Cozy Glow isn't a lost cause. She just needs someone to tend to that seed. No, she's a lost cause. Diamond <laughs> Tiara. Here's how it could work. If these two met, they might instantly hit it off over their similarities. Diamond Tiara could explain how she used to have a yeah, school Yeah, if got something with those two, that would be interesting. Would relate. They could share their stories, and Diamond could tell her all about how she was thwarted. Again, Cozy would relate. She might ask what scheme Diamond Tiara cooked up next, and be surprised to learn that she didn't. That's Diamond why I want- Cozy that no amount of power could <laughs> I'll get ever fill the hole in her heart. And Cozy would relate. Diamond would go on to explain that only friendship could fill that hole, the feeling of mutual care that Cozy never truly gave a chance. Until now. Even if Cozy relapses and tries to use their friendship somehow, Diamond Tiara knows those tricks too well. She'd put her hoof down like Fluttershy did with Discord, and make Cozy choose between their friendship and her selfish plans. At this point, with no evil queen to hold her back, I think she'd finally make the right choice. From there, Diamond Tiara can teach her from experience how to see the light of her cutie mark and how to use that power for good. Cozy Glow can go on to accomplish great things. Her future can still look bright, as long as someone That's believes in her enough to give her a chance. Uh, but what do you guys think? There. Is there a better way to reform Cozy Glow? Yeah, what was that the thumbnail? If you want to support this channel financially, check out my reward tier. <laughs> Patreon.com. I thought that was great. I thought that's what so it was going to be. Thank you so much everyone who already has, especially my other reward tier patrons. <laughs> Clayton, Sarah Star, Oceana Love, Ghastly Spark, Maximilian HG, Cyanax, Skunk Bunk, Hound Flash, D Cyanax, that sounds like some Sort of uh, medication. A nameless one. Paco like some Taco, sort of Dark Tyler 12, Cameo Shadowness, Yoshi Dark Lord, Valid, Namink, and Equinox 3141. You help make this channel possible. I'm Sawtooth Wave signing out until Friday after next. Bro who? That threw me for a loop. <laughs> I was so certain he was gonna talk about um, Flurry Heart, but I actually I'm glad he didn't because I think because we don't have any information about Flurry Heart. We just knew that she was a child. Um, there was nothing to her character. It was she was just that baby that two important characters had. Um, but yeah, Diamond Tiara definitely would have uh, like a better chance at reforming or at least understanding. Cozy Glow. Um, I think the only problem is uh, that we didn't, that we uh, uh, have yet, like, we, we, the only problem that we would need to f uh, have fixed is to explain what Cozy Glow's backstory is. That's something I've always had a problem with Cozy Glow. She's not one of my favorite villain villains. Uh, I, don't, I know a lot of people like to say that she's, a, uh, she's really this amazing villain. Um, yeah, she's persuasive. Yeah, okay, I can, I get that. But it, but even Hitler had a backstory. Uh, so I'm just wondering, what did, uh, like, what made Cozy go like this? I think a lot of everyone's pretty much wondering that because we don't we don't have that information. But if we know that information, we could uh, figure out how to relate it to another character. 
Like, for example, Diamond Tiara. She would, Diamond Tiara, Tiara wasn't even really that manipulative. Manipulative? I can't talk, I'm sorry, I mumble a lot. Um, but, uh, like, she was just, she was very intimidating. I think that's the difference. She wasn't manipulating, she was intimidating uh, other ponies. She, because, like, she was this wealthy, rich pony who had this holier-than-thou snarky attitude, and if you didn't agree with her, then she would be snarky towards you, and has the power to uh, persuade everyone else to kind of follow you and reject that same person. Um, in a way, Cozy goes the same way, but she doesn't. She's not intimidating. She's pers she's just persuasive. Uh, it's like she can get someone who's like she can catch someone off their guard and say, "Well, maybe you should try blah blah blah." You know, just just as a thought, and then. Uh, yeah, it's just, for some reason, she's she has that ability to do that. Uh, she can get on people's good side. Diamond TR never got anyone on anyone's good side. Uh, she got everyone else on her good side. I think that's I think that's a main difference. I mean, Kozuko, it's both ways. But uh, Diamond TR, it's just one way. She could care less about being on someone else's good side. She just wants them on her good side so that she can use them as tools. But of course, that was before all the reformations that happened in season five. Um, but yeah, I definitely do agree that those two would have the best uh, would have the best chance at relating. The only problem now is that, uh, well, Diamond Tiara is much older than her now, and uh, it probably wouldn't relate as well. I think it be I think it would be best if it was like the same age group because like, if Cozy Glow does get released from that stone prison at some point. Um, she would uh, have to find. She'd have to relate to someone that's around her age. She's clearly not going to relate to any of the adults. Um, and Diamond Tiara was an adult at that point, so unfortunately, that's not going to happen. I can, t I can probably, I can pretty much assume that. But if matters had taken a different turn, I definitely think that this could have been a thing. So yeah, I definitely rambled on about on this one for a lot. So. Yeah, great video. Hope you enjoyed the commentary. God bless. Stay safe. Have a nice day. And as always, goodbye.